Hi guys, I want to meet with you today to do a quick mini lesson on how to write your first quick write. So we, you have not done a quick write for me before, although technically you have. Um, it is really a paragraph. Um, I'm not sure where the word quick write comes from, but other than the fact that it is not a full blown essay, you will be putting some, info, some time into this uh, paragraph that you're going to be writing for me. When we first started doing these, students uh, had nicknamed them Pessays because they are a paragraph essay. You're putting a lot into it. So let's take a look at the assignment which you have. The directions tell you to reread chapters one and two and answer the following question in one paragraph. So you don't have to completely reread these chapters, but you do need to peruse through them and make sure that you look back over your notes that you have the relevant information that you need for your essays or for your paragraph. So the main question that you're answering is the one that you see here in bold. What kind of a person is Cassie Logan? Use specific evidence from the text to write a paragraph in which you discuss Cassie's personality traits. In notes, you may use the notes you collected from chapter one and your inferences made throughout chapter two. And that one um, worksheet that we're gonna take a look at where you had your notes, um, I told you you could also use chapter two for. A complete paragraph will meet the following criteria. Answer the prompt completely. Provide relevant and complete evidence. Paragraphs include the following. They call this a focus statement, we call it a topic sentence. The green, that's why I have this poster up behind me, I'm gonna review this with you. Um, at least three pieces of evidence from the text. Yellow, these are our reasons, details, or facts. It's where we put our transition words. For each piece of evidence, an analysis or explanation. What does this evidence mean? Those are our reds, our stop and explain. And then you also need a concluding sentence, your green. So very similar to the ACE answers that we have written in the past, um, except that it's in a paragraph form, so you're going to need to end with a conclusion sentence as well. Um, I would encourage you, since we have our computers now, to, to actually type it and submit it into Teams, please. All right, so I'm gonna stop that share, and I'm gonna talk about a couple of things. First, let's talk about Cassie. You needed to have completed this worksheet which you started with chapter one and you finished with chapter two. So it should say um, Cassie on there for character. And you picked out four traits. Those traits could come from that little book that you have. This is in your interactive notebook and we, you have a flip book with lots of traits listed. Look through those and see which of those maybe best fit Cassie. Then the part where you have to go back through the chapters. These boxes on the side are your text evidence. I would really encourage you to use specific quotes. If you do, please record the page number that that quote was found on. If you take the exact words from the book, remember that you need to put that into quotation marks, which is why it's considered a quote and why you need to put the page number and give credit for it. You can also summarize but you need to be as very specific as possible. If you generalize too much, I may not count it as a text detail. Then you're gonna be using this to write your essay. So, or your paragraph, I keep calling it an essay, but it's only one paragraph. So let's take a look um, on this poster. And I, this was on my wall last year. Um, and hopefully you remember doing this at the beginning of the year when we talked about our step up to writing strategies. So no matter what format you take, you are gonna start with a green. That is your topic sentence where you're gonna to start to introduce Cassie and what type of a person she is. Then you will have one of these yellows where you're going to give a reason, detail, or fact. That reason, detail, or fact should be one of her character traits. Then I'd really like to see us in this frame, in this uh, type of a paragraph where you are giving an example or explanation of that character trait. I would like to see more than one sentence explanation if possible. If it's only one, that's okay, that puts you over here, um, but you gotta have at least one explanation of your detail, um, which would probably be your quote, which is why I would like to see too. So you introduce the trait, you give your evidence of your quote, and then you explain how that quote proves that that explains that trait. Then we get into another example, at least a second trait, okay? At least a second trait 
a quote that goes along with it, hopefully, and then an explanation of that quote. You could, and you will see this on future quick writes, that sometimes it asks you for three piece, three details. Um, so this one, it's okay, I think, if you do two. Let's just double check what the screen had, had said. Does it say how many details in there? Oh, it does say at least three pieces of evidence. Well, we came up with four. So easy peasy, right? Go ahead, find that th third detail. So that doesn't show up on here, but you're gonna go back, you'll do a third yellow. And um, red explain and end with the conclusion. So that's why it starts to kind of feel like an essay because if you only give me two details, we're looking at eight sentences six if you're not able to explain them. But I really wanna see three details, which is where this quick write comes in versus our ACE answer. Um, and if we add in that third one, that's at least two to three more sentences. So we're looking at 10 to 12 sentences. Easy, you guys can handle this, no problem. You've done all the planning here. Now you just have to put it into sentences, write it out and explain it for me please make sure that you remember to follow MLA format, that you, um, have, you're typing it with Times New Roman, 12 point font, and it's double spaced. If you are unsure how to follow any of those, send me an email and I will help you through it. Um, if we need to meet up on Teams, uh, we will do so so that we can figure out how to do that format together. If you have any questions on the paragraph itself, once again, reach out, email, ask to meet with me on Teams, and we'll get it taken care of. I hope this helped. Get to work, and I can't wait to read your paragraphs.